Yeah, sir, and 777 representing a mighty wind ministry. How are you? Now, I love my Savior, Yahushua. I love Jesus Christ. I love the name Jesus Christ, but I love the name Yahushua, Hamashiach, even more. And why? Because I found out, I found out in a certain period in my life that that was a true name. And you see, I love my Lord. And if I love Him, I desire to learn more about Him. I desire to get to know more about Him. I mean, man, if He was the King of the Jews, if He had a Hebrew mother, if He had been given a Hebrew name, I want to know because I want to know everything about Him because I love Him. Sadly, there are many people professing to love Jesus Christ, but when they actually study or come across the truth that His true name is Yahushua, they absolutely despise it. No way! Jesus is the only way. J-E-S-U-S -E is the only name that I will use. Don't tell me about the Jewishness of Jesus. I don't need that. And you know what? If you use his Hebrew name, I'm going to call you a sacred name cult. Or part of the sacred name movement. I'm going to slander you. That's basically what it comes down to. Many that profess the law of Jesus Christ, they get in trouble with the name Yahushua. And they leap out the lie that someone who uses the sacred name is condemning anybody who uses the name Jesus. And the saying that somebody who uses the name Jesus is not saved or cannot be saved. Now it is my question. I'm wondering how can it be? How can somebody who proclaims to have the Holy Spirit absolutely despise the true name of, G of Jesus? That's pretty much impossible because the Holy Spirit will be rejoicing in you if you find out more about your Savior. Now this ministry has been instructed, my, my pastor, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, has been instructed by God to teach his people the importance of the name Yahushua, to know that name, acknowledge the name, to use that name, and get used to praying in that name, because you're going to need that name one day very soon, especially. And many of our enemies, they take this opportunity to label us as a sacred name cult and to leap out this propaganda that we condemn anybody who uses the name Jesus and that we preach a different gospel and that we preach a different Jesus because we use the name Yahushua. And this is what this video is going to be about. It is to reveal this propaganda because it's a lie. I want to tell you this. I was saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I came to know my Lord in the name of Jesus. My pastor Elizabeth Elijah was saved in the name of Jesus. Many of us in the mighty wind were saved in the name of Jesus. There is power and anointing and saving and delivering and healing power in the name of Jesus. But there is something very strange. Did you know that the name Jesus, a few hundred years ago, didn't even exist? Did you know that the, name, that the letter J, a few hundred years ago, didn't even exist? Did you know that the name Jesus, which Jesus derives from, the Greek Jesus, apparently doesn't even appear in the oldest Greek Bible available on the internet written more than 1600 years ago. So how is this possible? People being saved in the name of Jesus. How can that name hold power? I tell you this, God in His mercy, because this generation including many of you that are watching and I didn't know better and in His mercy He anointed the name of Jesus again even though the name Jesus about four to five hundred years ago didn't even exist 
and the Greek Iesus doesn't even appear in the oldest Greek Bible available. And for our sakes, he blessed and honored that name so we could be saved and come to the saving grace of Yahushua the Messiah. But the thing is this, if Jesus is not the original true name of Yahushua, doesn't this only tell us and indicate that we had better learn the name of Yahushua because if the name Jesus can be that anointed because God honored it, I think the name of Yahushua is going to give us even more power. It's going to give us even more anointing. Now if the name Jesus didn't even exist or appear in the original manuscripts, how can it be the name above all names? How can that name be eternal? In order for the name Jesus to be eternal, just like God himself is eternal and God the Son himself is eternal, the name should have no beginning and no ending. The name Jesus obviously had its beginning as it didn't even exist. The name Yahushua, on the other hand, which means Yah saves, contains the Heavenly Father's eternal name, Yah. Yahushua's name is eternal, and the name Jesus is not eternal. You see, God in His mercy honored the name Jesus so we could be saved, because we didn't know better. But we learned throughout the Holy Bible, the Word of God, this principle that we are held accountable for what we know what God teaches us, what He reveals unto us. He holds us accountable by the knowledge that He grants to us and the secrets He reveals to us through His servants, the prophets, whom He even would send forth in these last days. As prophesied in the book of Acts and prophesied in the book of Joel. You see, if we know things about our Savior then we have to hold on to that knowledge and truth because judge is, God is going to judge us according to the knowledge that we possess. So, the name Jesus, if it's not eternal, there are people out there in this community that say, Yahushua, I'm never going to use that name. I'm never going to get along with that sacred name movement. They're all a cult, and they're judging us. His name is Jesus. Let me tell you, the reverse is true. Many that despise the Jewishness of the Savior and the name Yahushua are condemning those who, who use the name Yahushua. It's not the other way around. T.J. Brook 88 is one of those liars who wants to make people believe that the mighty wind is preaching a different Jesus because we use the name Yahushua. She wants to leap it out that we condemn anybody who uses the name of Jesus. She wants to leap it out that Yahushua is in fact the mark of the beast. Now can you believe that? She says in one of her videos, not calling upon the name of Jesus is Satan's mark. Because you use the name of Jesus, you come against their doctrine, it's the same thing. And Satan's moving to ready people, to get them ready to accept that mark, to not call upon the name of Jesus Christ. This is what all this sacred name movement is about. Excuse me? That is heresy of the first order. How can you prove such a statement to be true? Okay. And first of all, if you use the true name of the Messiah, which is Yahushua, how can you go wrong? Who is closer to preaching a false Jesus? Someone who uses the true name of Jesus? Or someone who uses the name that didn't even exist a few hundred years ago? You see, these are the kind of lies that I would like to expose right here and right now in this video. It has been prophesied through Elizabeth Elijah that Satan, the son of Satan who is called the Antichrist in the Bible and who is spoken of, for example, in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, that the Antichrist would exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped so that he as God will sit in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. In 
agreement with that biblical prophecy. It was prophesied through end time prophet Elizabeth Elijah that the devil, the Antichrist, will claim the name Jesus Christ for his own. A name that a few hundred years ago didn't even exist, yet is loved and known the world over and that is used in the mainstream churches all over the world by fake preachers. A name that many even right now claim for their own. There are many people that profess to be Jesus Christ and they have great followings. Now, let me ask you, why would Satan be so fond of that name? Why can he so easily use that? But why does he shun and absolutely shun the name of Yahushua, which is the true name of Jesus? Let me tell you, it is because Satan shuns the name of Yah. Because it's the Father's eternal name, Yahweh. And this, the, the Son came in the name of the Father, which is also biblical, Yahushua, as a constant reminder that Yah saves. So, Satan is going to claim the name of Jesus Christ for his own in the Great Tribulation. And it has been prophesied through Elizabeth Elijah that the name of Jesus is going to lose its anointing, power, healing and saving and delivering power that it contains right now for our sakes because we didn't know better. But now through ministries like a mighty wit ministry, you are being taught by God's prophets. The messages that he passes on through his prophets that you need to know Yahushua's true name so that you will never be able to go wrong. And that in the Great Tribulation, He can save you, deliver you, and answer your prayers. Because if you pray in the name of Jesus in the Great Tribulation, you know what? The Antichrist will say, here I am. I am Jesus. You see, there are people that have great trouble with believing this. And they say, no, Jesus is eternal. It will hold eternal power. Prove it. You can only quote-unquote prove that if you say, well, the KJV is the only inerrant word of God. And that book tells me his name is Jesus, and that's the only name I will run with. Well, you've got to prove to me that it was prophesied in the word of God that in the 16th century, King James would come forth and he would translate into English the only inerrant inspired word of God and that the Savior's name is going to be Jesus for eternally more, forevermore. You see, this is all man-made doctrine. King James Version onlyism is a man-made doctrine. Scripturally, it cannot be proven. If the King James Version is inerrant, then why is God's name blotted out? Why is the son's name replaced with a Greek translation when he had a Hebrew name? That in itself shows you that the King James Version cannot possibly be inerrant or translated more accurately than the original manuscript. That's not possible. Okay. So, right now, I want to reprove two lies that are being spoken by T.J. Brook 88. She says that a mighty wit ministry is preaching a different Jesus because we use the name of Yahushua. Now, this is baloney. Who is closer to preaching a false Jesus? Someone who uses the true name or a false name? Or a name that, that didn't even exist a few hundred years ago? So that's just slanderous and blasphemous baloney. Second lie is she says, that a mighty wit ministry is basically holding the mark of the beast. She says in one of her videos, no, I'm not kidding, that not calling upon the name of Jesus in the Great Tribulation is Satan's mark. In other words, the mark of the beast. Do you know what this woman is saying? That the name Yahushua is the mark of the beast. If you call upon the Savior's true name, it is the mark of the beast. That's what this woman is saying. <laughs>
this blasphemous, slanderous, hypocritical liar who dares to call the Holy Spirit in this ministry, Mystery Babylon, the mother of all harlots. Again, this cannot be proven, it is heresy, it cannot scripturally be backed up, and again, who is closer to the beast and his mark? Someone who uses the true name Yahushua, or someone who uses a mistranslation, which is Jesus. They say, a mighty minister preach heresy. They say, you can call upon the name of Jesus now, but at the great tribulation you must say Yahushua. And they say, I will come against you false prophets, I will expose you, I will stand against your doctrines of demons. That's what T.J. Brook 88 says. I say, why do you despise the name of Yeshua if you claim to love Jesus? And secondly, how can anybody go wrong with using his true Hebrew name? Which the Bible says is the name, is the name of, of all names. And there is no other name given on earth whereby we must be saved. This is what T.G. Brook 88 says. Call God whatever you want. And this woman dares to call us New Agers. Now this is what I call New Age. Call God whatever you want. This is completely unscriptural and T.G. Brook 88. You have to prove that the name Jesus, which didn't even exist, is eternal and holds eternal power. You can't prove that. You are a slanderous, blasphemous liar. And I rebuke you again in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. All those that are watching, learn the name of Yahushua. Know that we do not condemn anybody who uses the name Jesus. We were saved in the name of Jesus. But again, the biblical principle is that God holds us accountable for what we know. When he tells us that his son's true name is Yahushua, and you had better learn that name, you had better obey God. And again, if you have the Holy Spirit, how can you not rejoice by learning the Savior's true name? How can you not rejoice? That's not possible. How can you despise the Jewishness of the Messiah when you claim to have the Holy Spirit? It's not possible. Those that say only the name Jesus will do, don't listen to these sacred name cults. They are slandering everybody who uses Yeshua's name. And they dare to call the name Yeshua the mark of the beast. They are blasphemers. They are full of the Antichrist spirit. So be warned. T.J. Brook 88 and all the liars, again, exposed. These are Satanists in the midst of the community carrying out an agenda to lead you to the Antichrist who will claim to be Jesus Christ.